right, so I found this cool robotics stuff here at the Antique Radio Show, which really doesn't go with tube type stuff, does it? All right, but anyway, you guys tell me your story. What, what do you got okay. going on? Um, I'm Carolyn Berryman. I'm on the high school robotics team 1025 based out of Fernell, Michigan. Mm -hmm. These are members of the middle school FTC team. I'm I'm Ella Mitchell. Um, I'm on the Monday team, and I built and I built part of the robot. Yeah. Uh, I'm Evan. I am on the Thursday team, and I programmed that robot. Which one? Show me, man. That this one. This one right here. All right. Excellent. All right. Programming meaning what? As in, I basically program the motors to make them go. Basically, I program the motors to be able to follow simple commands to move forward, backwards, okay. up and down. What, what kind of programming language is it? Uh, Java. Java, okay. And you are, sir? Uh, I'm Sean, and I helped build the robot. I built part of it. Okay. Now you guys build these, and then you control them. You have like a contest or something, yeah, right? Yeah, so right. it's through FIRST Robotics competition. So that's like a nationwide, even worldwide competition. And you have it's two phones for each robot. Yep. Okay. So yep, one yep. phone will go into the charger, uh -huh. into the hub. Right. And then another phone will have the controllers on it. So and they're connected through Bluetooth. Yeah. Bluetooth. Or you, or you can press start for the autonomous period, which is the um, program period. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. pre-programmed, so the drivers are not allowed to touch the controllers at all. It's all based on what he does. So if he tells the robot to go forward and the robot doesn't go forward, that's his fault. So okay. <laughs> that we we just essentially have to be like, hey, it didn't work, and then he has to go back and change the programming. Okay. So and what's the task of the robot? Okay. What's it so to do? each year it's okay. different. This year's games are all sponsored by Boeing, so they're all. Based off of the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. Okay. So this one was called Rover Ruckus. So you had these minerals. They were either a small wiffle ball, circle, silver mineral, or a cube. And you basically had to use the arms to pick them up, squeeze them. And then they had a depot that was like two feet off the ground and it was like a slot. And you picked them up and put them up there. And then at the beginning, you could, um, this one actually dis descended. So you start hanging, and this is winched, and then you can unwinch it, and it will lower it to the ground, and that was all pre-programmed. Okay. So the kids had nothing to do. They didn't program it at all. Okay. This one climbs at the end of the match, so what it does is it drives up. There's like a hook like this, and it drives sideways into the hook, yeah. and then it lifts itself up with this mechanism. Yeah. So that was the middle school robot, and then... So the entire point of the game was to get points from your cubes, getting them put in the depot, or playing defense. This robot was a defense robot, mm -hmm. and this one was more of an offense robot. Okay. So where's yeah. the uh, batteries hidden? I don't see so them. So we actually, so the battery is in a different spots. So the battery would fit right here on this robot, and then okay. the phones will go right here. On yep. That and okay. our battery would be strapped, strapped to in. this. Yep. All right. So some teams use different strategies to keep their robot inside the, keep their battery inside the robot. Right. And then all of this was programmed, and all the electrical was done by the kids. So with the guidance of a couple of the high school mentors. So okay. where'd you get the parts? Is this like a kit, so, or is everything custom? Yeah, yeah, so it's a kit from kit? First. First, yeah, so first releases these kits to the rookie teams, okay. and then those kits are then like used. And you can they give you instructions, but it's just like a basic like this is a frame that you could build. So and then you kind of just build your own thing. So like this this was completely built by the students. They imagined it, designed it, and then they did it. Wow. And then same with this. This is also built by the students. This is a part of the kit, but everything else they figured out how to do it themselves. Okay, so. And these are like RC servos, like yeah, you'd see yeah. in an airplane yep. or whatever? Yeah, yeah. 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 Cool. So right. um, currently our high school team is doing, um, they're building the robot right now actually, and yeah. our theme is deep space. Mm -hmm. So the entire point of the game is to get these giant, um, they're kind of like kickballs, yeah. and there's this rocket, the tallest hole in the rocket is seven feet up, so you mm -hmm. have to lift that up and put it in there. But there's also these hatches that are these giant discs that are about like that thick. And you have to block the holes yourself, so you have to be able to pick up those hatches and put them on the rocket to prevent the balls from sliding out. Yeah. So, um, Very cool. yeah, and essentially it's a big competition. You know, the matches are all 2 minutes and 30 seconds, and mm -hmm. you have to get as many points as you can in those cool. 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So, See, yeah. so people, this gives us some hope 
for the future because you guys are actually like using mechanical skills, software skills. I mean, you really got to think this out. That's yeah. very cool. Yeah. Now, one question. It's all on a phone. Yeah. See, I don't carry a phone. I'm an old school guy, okay? Yeah. I don't, you know, but anyway, what my question would be is if it's all on a phone and it's on those frequencies, do you get interference from other phones? No. So no? what happens is in the facility, they shut the Wi-Fi off. Oh. So there's a special Wi-Fi connection that is run by the field technicians. Okay. And then they connect to the phones and everything, and that allows these to connect without yeah. cellular interference. Um, okay. Usually, phone hotspots aren't allowed to be turned on at all. Yeah. So, um, And then the high school team, it's run through that Wi-Fi connection, between yep. the Bluetooth connection between the robot and the computer. So that one's more of a standard connection. It's yeah. programmed through Java, C++, or Python. Wow. So it's whatever you prefer. We Very prefer cool. Java. So. Very cool. You guys really impressed me. This is super. This is super. We'll get it on YouTube and maybe, you know, they'll get other, other people into the art of doing yeah. this. Yeah. Thanks. Cool. Appreciate it. Thank you.